Hello and welcome to a ScootX tutorial video. So Romod has officially fixed. Now we can go ahead and use the NPC droppers, the custom scooters, no matter how many times we switch the map. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom character, how to use the NPC dropper, as well as how to create a custom scooter or get the assets and use them in the game. The process isn't too bad. It'll probably take you about five to 10 minutes of setup, but then you are good to go. Really glad that the NPC dropper is now fixed. Previously, if you switched maps after launching the game, it only worked on that first map you joined, but that has since been fixed. So here is a cool, quick video for you guys to get you all set up on your Scoot X journey. So first step you're going to need is to download Melon Loader. After you download Melon Loader, you are going to want to go ahead and join in on the Scoot X Mods Discord. Now that link is in the description box and down in the comment section below. So go ahead and join in on that Discord. And once you are there, if you have any additional questions, the community is super helpful. So go ahead and just pop in there and ask any questions that you may have or hop in the VC. I'm sure there's somebody quick to help you. All right, so enough yapping for the intro. First thing you're gonna want is Melon Loader. Go ahead and download this. You either hit get started or head on down here to the automated installation. And most of you guys are gonna be downloading it for Windows. Once Melon Loader is installed, you're gonna wanna head in here and click Scoot X, and then you'll wanna install one. So we'll go ahead and click install here. Now, once this is installed, you're gonna wanna open this folder here. You're gonna see mods. So inside this mods folder, you're gonna next wanna go ahead and download our mod, or it's also called row mod. The place you're gonna be able to find this is actually in the mods discord. So here we're in the Scoot X mods discord. Now it looks like just two days ago, there was a brand new row mod update. So we're actually gonna be downloading this and hopefully that's gonna be fixing any of our previous issues. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download the brand new R mod. So you got here, you can go ahead and download it straight into your downloads folder. All right, so right here at the top, we can see unverified download blocked. We're gonna go ahead and download unverified file. We're gonna move that R mods into this mods folder here. So simply grabbing the DLL file and we're going to move it like so. Now that you have the romods.dll in your mods folder, you're gonna go ahead and just launch Scoot X. Here we are, we're gonna launch it one time. You're gonna see this pop-up window here. It's just gonna run through a few things. All right, so now that we have the game launched, we're just gonna head into a random map. Once you're in the map, you're gonna hit Control N and make sure that this pops up. This is your row mods. This is how you're going to adjust the physics, change the scooter, and as well as the character. As we can see, we don't have any character items right here because this is a fresh download of row mods. But now that we know that Romod is up and running and everything's good, we can go ahead and close out ScootX. So now relaunching Melon Loaders, we're going to hit the folder icon here that's going to re-upload. We're going to select Mods, and now you can see above Row Mods, we now have the R Mod file. When we click here, we can see Bikes, Bike Preset, Bundles, Characters, and Presets. So bundles is where we're gonna be putting any scooter mods and things of that nature. And under character, this is where we're going to be placing all the different character mods. That's how we're gonna change everything from hat, hair, gloves, etc. Next, you're probably wondering where are we getting the mod packs for the different characters, and that's where the Discord comes in. So in the Scoot X mod Discord, you're gonna see the creator tab here and a bunch of different creators. Personally, my favorite, Creator is 3-Wit. He's got a bunch of different ones here. The Clothing Mega Pack is a really good one. It has a excessive amount. We have Jar Jar Binks. We have B1 Robot. We also have a Skeleton. Tons of different kinds of outfits here. As you can see, clothes, hoodies, etc. Again, this is a Mega Pack, so it just has a whole lot of everything. So if you want to go ahead and download this one, you're going to click the Google Drive link there. Then from here, you're gonna go ahead and download. This is gonna be a compressed file. Once you do download this, you'll wanna uncompress it, either with 7-zip or Breezip, any of those. Once it is unzipped, it's gonna look just like this. All of the different folders. When you go in body, you're gonna see 3-wit, a few different ones here. Under top, when you click in here, you're gonna see all the different categories. 
baggy shirt, LA shirt, sweater, sleeveless, polo, rugby, etc. These are all different folder options. So all you're going to want to do is highlight each one of those. Again, from Melon Loader, you just hit the file icon. It's going to pop this. And you're going to go into mods, R mod. You're going to go into character. You're going to see all these folders are the exact same as the pack we just downloaded from 3Wit. So all you have to do is once these are all highlighted, you're going to drag and drop them over here. And because all the folders have the same corresponding name, they're actually just going to basically replicate inside of those. So you're not going to have a body folder and then inside that is a body folder or two different body folders. Just all of the contents within body folder that you just moved over is going to go into its necessary folder. And you are good to go as far as the clothing is concerned. Now, if you're wanting to have any custom scooter parts and things of that nature, those are going to be placed in the bundles folder and where you can find those again in the discord still under three wit we can see here a couple different scooters i really like this one it's called z special it has a little anime top a little cool honeycomb grading in the middle and he's got a bunch of different colors yellow red raw pink orange etc so whichever one you want let's say you really want the black one you're just going to go ahead and click right here z black and then where you're going to download it, you can first download it into your downloads folder and then drag it over to your bundles for folder. Or if you want, you can download it straight into the bundles folder. For me personally, I usually just put it in the downloads folder and then drag it afterwards. So for Z Black, we would go ahead and save. Once saved, it will appear as a model file like this. So for, the, for instance, here's a few of the Z's that I downloaded. I downloaded the pink, orange, oil, and blue. So each one of these dot models we're going to go ahead and just drag them over to the bundles folder. Same thing with all of these other ones, whether that's the NPC droppers that I'll show you guys in a second, different handlebars, etc. All of those are different ones that can be found in the Discord. All you have to do is download them and then drag them over to the bundles folder. So each one of those also can be found here, whether you're looking for a certain kind of handlebar or even the NPC droppers. So under Huey, we can see NPC for row object dropper, and you can see a few of the characters here. All you have to do is click Nexus Mods. It's gonna bring you over to this website here. And we can see NPC Volume 1. You're gonna to wanna to click Manual Download here and stick to the free version. So you're gonna click Slow Download. Again, this is gonna come as a zipped folder. So once you get it, go ahead and unzip it or uncompress it. Once it's uncompressed, it will also be a model folder like here, dropper underscore Huey NPC. And each one of those model files, you're gonna drop them into the bundles folder. Essentially everything is put in the bundles folder, whether that's the NPCs, Right here, here's an object dropper that's a ramp. So instead of an NPC, you can also drop ramps into your maps. Those are all going to be placed in the bundles folder along with any other items like different kinds of scooters and things of that nature. Everything in the bundles folder except for character creator stuff. So all these other categories here where we have custom avatars, custom clothing and things of that nature. Those instead of the bundles folder of course are going to be in the characters folder and placed inside the corresponding you know category whether that's body gloves hair etc so again here we are we are going to relaunch scoot x all right so now we have scoot x launched we're going to go ahead and click play let's just again let's launch a random map here first thing you're going to notice if you are doing a custom character you're going to need to select jim jim who's this guy here in all green this is the base for any custom characters you're going to hit control and n at the same time that's going to open up your row mod menu we're going to head over to character first up you're going to click body and then we're going to click three wit three wit is the base body that i personally use now instead of three wit there's a ton of other options i personally pick three wit because the character looks the most like me in my opinion so now that we have him, and again, materials is how you're going to pick, whether you are short sleeve, long sleeve, etc. Then we're going to head over to tops. Let's just pick, let's say, polo, black. As you can see here, there's a bit of clipping. So depending on um, the outfit that you pick, if you have any clipping, you'll just head back into body 
and you can kind of play around with each of these. See, we click short sleeve and now the clipping has gone. So depending on your outfit of choice, you'll want to go in and change all of that. Then you can go to bottoms. We can pick any one of these different ones. As you can see, they're all white. So once you pick the one you like, then head over to materials and that's how you can pick the different variations of that. Next, we're going to go to hair. We want beard and hair. We're going to go to materials. Click here so it's not white. Then you'll go to shoes. Just click a random one. Boom, click those. Let's say we're all done, whatever you want to customize it. As soon as you're done, you're going to want to save the preset. So for this one, let's say we wanted to call it once you've selected whatever text you want, you'll click Save Preset, and then it will actually show up in your presets, so that way at any time you can cycle through any of the presets. And that right there is how you set up your custom character. Now for the custom scooter, that can be done here. We're heading over to Scooter. Remember, these are files that we all placed in the Bundles folder. So you can see here the different we some wheels that I selected. So you can just click Lucky Wheels. You have all the different frames. My favorite is the Z oil and then all the different handlebars. We can go ahead and pick this one. If you'd like to change your peg size, you can do that through this slider here. And then same thing with the bars, they, you know, they'll go all the way up. So if you want your handlebars to be a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, you can do so just like that. Same thing with physics with Romod, you can change any of the different physics. You, there's spin assist, drifting, gravity, small force, hop adjustment, you can change the pump force, the spin, speed multiplier, etc. All of that are options for you. There are different materials that you can change to depending on what you're trying to do. And for miscellaneous, I don't really play around with this. The graphics is kind of cool. You can come through here and depending on the map, you can uh, do different kinds of things, change the position of the sun or add um, different you know, different stuff going on here, deal. Anyways, so here we go. Last thing is in the dropper tab. Again, this is where we can set different kinds of NPCs. You use your scroll wheel to rotate them. So if you want somebody right there, you can place this girl just for fun. We'll have her like that. As you can see, even though it's sideways, when we click, they'll be right side up. So don't get too focused on, oh no, they're diagonal. At any time, if you placed one incorrect, you can just click delete all spawned and start from scratch. So place a few of these around, bada bing, bada boom, no big deal, wherever you want any of these people. And if you want to cancel a specific one, we're going to click here and then we can either adjust their position. Let's say the first, this girl right here, we're like, oh, darn. I really want her facing, you know, I want, she's floating a little bit. Let's pull her down a little bit. Or if you want to rotate her any sort of way, you can do the rotation or click right here, delete selected. If there's a specific one that you want to delete or edit. So that is exactly how you do the NPC dropper. Now I'm going to go ahead and test because with the previous version, before we just updated, I had the issue of my custom scooter and the NPCs. I wasn't able to use them once I switched maps. Maybe that has been fixed. Let's go ahead and test it out. So let's just go ahead and move on over here. All right, so we have now moved maps and this is where it'll be really important. Um, once you start using a preset for your person, it will automatically switch right when you switch maps. So you won't have to worry about this. Earlier, I forgot to actually click save because these aren't going to be my actual presets. Well, it's just, this guy looks pretty good. Let's just put some paints on him. All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and check. Let's see. Would you look at that? Our scooter actually followed us to the new map. That is really good to see. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Now the NPC dropper works even when you switch maps so amazing looks like now all you have to do is download the new row mod link and you're good to go 7.1 does work for melon loader so yeah that about wraps it up for the video hope you guys enjoyed hope this was helpful if it was please go ahead and leave a like and comment on the video it helps out with the algorithm and enjoy scooting out there again i'm gonna keep live streaming every day on tiktok so i hope to see you there if not no worries catch you next time